this is a TPR review. The Pokemon Rhombus. Review. The of, Pokemon Rhombus. Of. 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 First generation. Of Pokemon. Pokemon. That's red, red blue, and yellow. Pika, look how cute he is. Back when, back when Pikachu's art looked better than it did now. Yeah, and he's cuter. Totally. And Pika, or... More Pika. More Pika. Anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah? So, in this review, we will talk about the game. <laughs> and how it may or may not have impacted our lives. Which it did. Which it did. <laughs> because we have this channel. Yeah, Pokemon. Except my first version was yellow. I did, and then I got red. And now I have blue. I was pro and I got red yeah. the week it came out because it, looks, <laughs> it had a dragon on it. I was like, dude, I'm definitely going to get this <laughs> dude, dragon. for my Game Boy, which I just got. <laughs> yeah. I got a Game Boy and yellow at the same time. So I was like, gasp. It's like, what is this? What is this? Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I have a picture of myself holding it, but I'm not going to show that because... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway. But, uh, yeah. So these were the first Pokemon games released in the U.S. In the Us. In the Us. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> they basically revolutionized this type of gaming. I, was there any other games that were even similar to this before? I don't think so. <laughs> we don't think so. There was... This was the first game where you could go out and... Grab little monster dudes and in, level in, them up. In balls. In and, balls. And level. Level, level them up. up. And be awesome. And hack it with Missing No. Yeah. <laughs> Which, if you had red and blue and you didn't hack with Missing No, then... Or if you don't even know what Missing No is. Uh, if you, you need don't to know, go If you don't know somewhere. what Missing No is, then something is wrong. <laughs> I know. You should not be watching this review. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the ultimate. The ultimate cheat. The cheat. ultimate exploit. The ultimate... Thing. I, um, Whatever. So, this game was good. It was before they introduced the running boots. Yeah, so we had to walk everywhere. But I didn't that, even that. care. I know, because we didn't know about them, so it's just like, well, this is normal speed. I know. And th I love how back when, like, when you get running boots, I what was the first game that had them? Ruby, Ruby and Sapphire. Yeah. yeah, and Ruby and Sapphire, no one even cared that, like, you walked in a uh, gold and silver, crystal, blue, red, and... Yellow. Yeah. No, no one even cared that you walked in them. And then after they do it and they tried to play red again, they're like, oh, uh, yeah. so slow. I know, you're so slow, you're going so slow. But. I mean, at the time. I prefer walking speed. I don't prefer running. I prefer bike. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, this game had the original 150. One. one what well, was Mew unlockable in red and blue? There's a cheat to do it, but I've never done it. I know, there's but you the, could. Cheat, the, the slow poke cheat. Or whatever. So poke. Uh, I, I know the cheat where, like, you fight one of the little kids in, uh, one of the youngsters. And, uh, <laughs> somewhere. And he plays, and he uses, like, a slow poke or something. And you save it right before the fight. Then you encounter it and shut off your game or something like that. And then you go, like, a little bit past Lavender Town. Yeah. Which was the best city ever. Yeah. Because and the music was, was so creepy. Did you see the uh, Dexter's dad Lavender Town thing? Oh yeah. Yeah 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I don't even know how. Yeah. <laughs> but uh. But yeah. Yeah, and then you go past Lavender Town and get Mew through some cryptic hack. That's weird. I've never even heard that. Anyway, yeah. Um. Yes, had the original 151. Yes. Great game. I yeah. really don't know what to say about it. I know it's just is it's so good, and. Uh, it had the TM. No, it had the HM Flash. Even though you only used it in two areas. I know. <laughs> Useful. That's probably why it's not an HM anymore. I know. And no one even uses it anyway. It's like, I'll just search around in the dark. In the dark. I have a circle of light around me anyways. <laughs> yep. The greens. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's not really a long review. I know. Um, Started through, as everyone knows, Charmander. Squirtle. And Bulbasaur. And Eevee. <laughs> nah, for Gary in yellow version. Yeah. I was, I, I was always like, oh, why do you get Eevee? Eevee's so cool. It evolves into like 10 million different Pokemon. 
<laughs> Which at that time was three. That was three, yeah. But instead of three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Soon to be fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> Soon to be fifteen. Uh, My starter was Blastoise. I don't. I think I started with Bulbasaur when I. No wait, because I got yellow. But then when I got red, I started with Bulbasaur. But then when I got blue, I started with Squirtle. Because I was like, wow, Blastoise is so cool. Why did I not like him? Blastoise is And now he's crazy. my favorite of all of them. Look at him. He's like a turtle and he has a fang. And I like his cannons. Yeah. His cannons. His back cannons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The only reason why I never chose Charmander was because I could never find a way to beat Gary. I'm mean, not Gary. Brock. To beat Brock. Right, yeah, because he's, he's all ground type. And I'm like, Brock. oh, how do I do this? And then I'm like, oh, I can just get a Caterpie. A Caterpie. And evolve it into Butterfree. And then just be like, confusion. <laughs> Lol, confusion. Lol, confusion. What's going on? I don't know. And then they die. <laughs> like that in Yellow, you had to train your Pikachu to level like 20 to learn Slam, to even hope of doing any damage to Onyx or Geodude. Because... I I actually did that. I know, I did that too. So, by the time I got to Misty, my Pikachu was level like... 25. 25. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, yeah, Misty, yeah. okay. Yeah, that does that. Right. Um, and then I remember, you know, being like, I like restarting the games and being like, I want to do a d an alternate starter. I'm going to go use Nidoran. And <laughs> Nidoran was my starter. Yeah. Wait, female or male? I'm male. guessing male. Yeah, because Nido Kank is awesome. He was like, oh, I'm poisoning ground. <laughs> I'm random. That's funny because ground is super effective against poison, and yeah. Uh, not as funny as a poison steel. Yeah. It's like, well, how I do I work? I wish they I'm all would rusty. Do that. <laughs> Evolution of Skarmory. Rusty. Rusty Burn. Skarmory. Rust Murray. Rarmory. Scar Rust. Anyway. <laughs> Scar Rust. That sounds like Stardust, <laughs> which is code name for drugs. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. We're not in second generation. We're in the first. Yeah, we're in first. So it's totally about Metapod. Yeah. And Kakunas. Harden. <laughs> yeah. Metapod used Harden. Metapod used Shrink Shot. No. <laughs> <laughs> Did I show you that picture? Yeah, yeah. That's a funny picture. Yeah. <laughs> I'm being like, no! No! <laughs> uh, so I so think yeah, Red and Blue, good games. Red and Blue, amazing games. I personally think Gold and Silver was better. But I have a more emotional connection to Gold and Silver. Gold and Silver so, was good. I think it was better. Crystal sucked. Yeah, I just like how I, the Pokemon moved. I thought that Crystal sucked. <laughs> what, did you not like the whole Suicune storyline? No. You know, we should really talk about this one. We do. Gold well, Silver, but... what storylines are in Red and Blue? Yeah, really. I mean, there's the Geo. There's the, they're just Team Rocket. You go, it. yeah. It's like, well, Team Rocket. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Defeat them. Get Mashed Ball, use it on Mewtwo. Damn. Get Zap Defeat Pokemon League. Get Zapdos. Well, Arda you get Articuno first because he's Uno. Uh, then you get Zapdos because he's second. And Moltres. Moltres. It's Trace. funny because you can really... Moltres is the first one you could really get because it's in Victory Road. And then I'm pretty sure Zapdos doesn't appear until... After no, Ar Pokemon League. Articuno, you only need to know Strength to get him. And Surf. Yeah. I don't know. Not that I, I always thought Moltres was first, but I could be wrong. You're a bad person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bad person. Back when, uh, what was it? Like, remember the road to the Elite Four? Where there's, like, grass in there and you could find dittos in there? Yeah, like, yeah. That was ridiculous. And then in the next game, so I'm like, how, why isn't this there? I want <laughs> I to, <laughs> like, fight things. Fight things. <laughs> or I also wish that they kept the things where it's like, you can't go past here until you get this badge. Yeah, yeah. Because I would totally, like, get five badges, go there. And catch good Pokemon. Catch free dittos. Yeah. <laughs> ditto. Ditto. Free ditto. Free like, ditto. if there's ten million ditto, it's still ditto. Look at all the ditto. Yeah. Look at all the Mareep. <laughs> it's funny because it's sheep. Yeah. Mareep and sheep. Mareep, sheep. Mareep, sheep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's about it for this review. We're going to be reviewing cooler stuff later. Yeah, cooler stuff. But I want to go cool. play some video games now. Yeah, but I like video games. Right, like Halo. Yeah. Even though I hate Halo, but I like the multiplayer. Well, we only do one-on-one. -on -one on well, yeah. Maps. All right. <laughs> Anyways. Bye. Bye. Bye.